Geyser Hill, near Old Faithful, has undergone some changes recently, with an increase in thermal activity and geysers in general. The changes are reminiscent of those that occurred in the same area in 2018 and are a testament to the dynamic nature of Yellowstone geyser basins. On May 24, 2023, observers on Geyser Hill in Yellowstone's Upper Geyser Basin, near Old Faithful, witnessed something they had not seen in two years. Orem Geyser Eruption This medium-sized but charismatic geyser is located at the bend of the trail that circles Geyser Hill, in front of a shallow pool filled with geyser eggs, fine pebbles made of mineral layers deposited from geyser water. According to citizen scientist observations, Orem was seen erupting nearly 30 times over the next 14 days, sending water rising about 6 meters, 20 feet, into the air. Orem's revival isn't the only change at Geyser Hill in recent weeks. On the same day Orem erupted, the popular beehive geyser erupted twice. The beehive usually erupts every 18 to 22 hours, although with considerable variation. On 24 May, a series of eruptions began at shorter intervals of around 15 to 16 hours. Small features also become more active. On May 30, a small geyser known as UNNGGHG-17, a designation based on a system for naming small or unnamed features according to geographic location, in the Dublet Pool runoff channel is beginning to erupt for the first time. Since 2018 throws water about 1 meter 3 feet, into the air and remains at a frequency of about once every 90 minutes during its first few days of awakening. Unusual activity on Geyser Hill is of concern to the public. Resident scientist Graham Meach watched 17 erupt 20 times over two days, carefully noting the timing of the eruptions and how the intervals between eruptions varied. Meach's data covers a critical period in 17 eruption cycles that will not be recorded before Park Service personnel can place monitoring equipment on the geyser. As 17 began erupting again, a new feature dubbed UNNGGHG 17 broke through the surface. 17 located approximately 3 meters, 10 feet, southeast of 17 and next to the sidewalk. When a new feature erupts, it raises centered shards, rock made from minerals deposited from geyser water, and pros away debris, some of which lands on pavement. By 5 June, the bore diameter of 17 had grown to 0.75 meters. 2.4 feet. Meech noted on 30 May that the activities of 17 and 17 were closely related, with 17 a consistently erupting about 8 minutes after 17. Just days later, the behavior of the new geysers was very different. Even before the geysers flowed between eruptions, the park's geology staff who visited the site on June 5 found most of the pools of water pooled up to the rim. 17 and 17 I began to experience several independent eruptions, and the interval between eruptions was lengthened. Preliminary analysis of temperature recorder data indicated that 17 had experienced 13 eruptions on 2 June, with a median interval of 1.8 hours between eruptions. By 5 June, this had dropped to 7 eruptions, with an average interval of 3.7 hours. The activity occurring at Geyser Hill bears an uncanny similarity to activity occurring in the same area in September 2018. This time period included the rare ear spring eruption which brought decades of human waste to the surface, including coins, hats, cans, ashes, block, and baby pacifiers. In fact, it was during this period that the feature known as 17 first formed. The unusual conditions of the events of May 2023 have not ended. While activity on 17 and 17 has slowed, a feature that had previously existed near Dublet Pool, halfway under the pavement, came alive. Named by some snowballs for the way it churns up tiny bits of center, this feature began to erupt, throwing the 88 degrees Celsius, 191 degrees Fahrenheit, water at least a foot or two into the air, with a few droplets landing on the pavement. 
Activity at the feature was nearly constant on 4 June, with eruptions reported every 90 seconds. Then, on June 7, a new vent a few inches to the west of Snowball opened, splashing water in frequent eruptions and cascading in whirlpools. As a result of this unusual activity, a sidewalk closure was imposed between Sponge Geyser and Doublet Pool to protect visitors and staff from throwing rocks in boiling water. Yellowstone National Park geology staff have responded to the May 2023 Geyserville event by placing temperature data loggers and other monitoring equipment near 1717 uh, and features by Doublet Pool. They hope this data is not just documenting unusual activity but also assisting park staff in determining when it is safe to lift pavement closures. Changes like the one currently occurring at Geyser Hill are common in Yellowstone's Geyser Basin. In addition to the September 2018 event at Geyser Hill, a major thermal event occurred in 2003 in the Norris Geyser Basin. With the formation of several new features, eruptions of previously non-erupted pools, and a general increase in surface temperature. This activity eventually forced the route changes of several sidewalks in the area. There are also observations of a new thermal area that has formed in the last 20 years near Lake Turn, on the east side of the park. In most geological contexts, change occurs very slowly. This is not the case in highly dynamic hydrothermal areas. By the same token, it is difficult to predict the direction this particular thermal event will take. Geyser Hill may cool quickly, and return to normal activity, or additional features may form or continue to be built. The most constant thing about Yellowstone's Geyser Basin is its change. Tracking hydrothermal activity is a time-consuming endeavor that greatly benefits from community involvement. Observations discussed at the meeting included input from Graham Meach, Lori and Steve Walker, Shannon Morak, A.J. Ferreira, and several other Yellowstone National Park staff members and the general public.